A coronavirus crackdown. Governor Whitmer announcing sweeping new shutdowns as case numbers hit a record high in Michigan. We are in the worst moment of this pandemic to date. The situation has never been more dire. We are at the precipice and we need to take some action. The governor says the goal is to limit big gatherings, and that means big changes at schools, restaurants, and more. The closures will last three weeks and go into effect this Wednesday. Let's break down what's closing. High schools and colleges will shut down in-person learning. No indoor dining at restaurants and bars. Movie theaters, bowling alleys, ice rinks, and casinos will all close. Any organized sports, suspended. Also, no group fitness classes. Now, here's what stays open. Gyms and pools remain open for individual exercise. Hair salons, barber shops, and retail stores will stay open for business. And professional sports teams, meaning the Lions, can still play, but no fans allowed. We have team coverage tonight with the impact on students and parents, local businesses, and young athletes. But first, a look at why this is happening now. The new orders present big challenges for Michigan families and business owners. Why take these serious steps? The governor says science provides the answer for that. A leading model shows that if we don't take aggressive action right now, we could soon see 1,000 deaths per week here in Michigan. And by February 15th, models predict we could have as many as 20,000 additional deaths due to COVID-19 in Michigan. There will be an economic impact from another round of closures, but the governor says if we're going to get back to a healthy economy, we need healthy people. Getting this health crisis under control is absolutely essential to getting our economic crisis under control. If our public isn't healthy, our economy isn't healthy. State Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky released a statement tonight that reads in part, we are disappointed that Governor Whitmer chose to go it alone again. Senate Republicans will continue working with our doctors and medical community on ways we can combat this virus and are ready to work with the governor when she decides to work as a team to fight this virus. Governor Whitmer says tonight she has reached out to the Republican-controlled legislature and is still waiting to hear a plan. I think we got to get the politics out of masking up. It's the best weapon we have against our common enemy. Um, it was dismissed out of hand. Um, I will add this as well, that after that, I said, well, what is your plan? And there wasn't one. 